The winter came early, suddenly this year. Weeks of strong blizzards and extremely harsh, cold weather hit Bridgeport hard. With the seas completely frozen, a rare occurrence indeed. Most of the city harbor commerce has stopped completely. Vessels are stuck in the ice and no ship can leave or enter the city, resulting in the availability of imported goods declining and their prices skyrocketing. One of these imported items is Mandrasola, a rare herbal product which is imported overseas from the far southern continents. Mandrasola has its uses in alchemical cures and poisons, but mostly the substance is used for its narcotic qualities by commoners and even the nobility. The problem with Mandrasola is that excessive use is extremely addicting and the withdrawal effects are most grievous. Many are utterly incapable of stopping using Madrasola and are transformed into quivering human ruins if they do not get their daily dose. And now this expensive and rare substance is running out from the whole city. Me and my fence, Lark Butternose, would love to grab that this monopoly ourselves. Selling the last few doses in the city would probably be worth a fortune. According to Lark's sources, there remains only one smuggling lord who still has Mandrasola in stock. The problem is that this individual maintaining an exclusive clandestine operation and only supplies a few nobles. Despite our best information gathering efforts, we couldn't learn who the smuggler is and where he or she operates. Luckily, we have an alternate plan. While searching for Mandrasola-related information, we learn that a noble woman called Lady Ludmilla is addicted to the substance and has paid high prices for small amounts of it. We also know that she has visited frequently, some in the Tanner's Ward waterfront, and since she goes to the area personally, we believe she is visiting the smuggler. The plan is simple. I must monitor Ludmilla's most likely entryway to the waterfront, and then follow her to the smuggler's hideout. I'd better be careful around Ludmilla. She must not realize I'm following her, or she will probably wouldn't lead me to her dealer. Hurting her is also out of the question. If she leads me to the smuggler's hideout, I could take my time to break in carefully and steal all the mandrasola I can find. While I'm there, it wouldn't be a bad idea to grab some loose valuables as well. I've now waited in the blistering cold for a few hours already. Looks like there are a few city watch patrols in the area to complicate matters. I think I heard a woman's voice beyond the north gate. That must be Lady Ludmilla. I haven't seen many ladies in these parts of town. I better get ready. Hello. Welcome back. To the dark mod we are in the final stretch ladies and gentlemen barring anything new coming out we have one series of fan missions left to go and it's a big one we're going to be tackling the thomas porter series that is six fan mission levels in one series i left this for last because oh that's a lot of fan mission and oh i'm hungry for more Oh, be fair, I'm always hungry for more. After this is done, I guess we'll have to do some Thief 2 fan missions until we're ready. Maybe we'll do some other Thief fan missions from uh, one of the other games, but we'll see. Uh, I'll cross that bridge when I come to it because this, this will probably last us a while. But anyways, what are we supposed to be doing here? Let's see, what's the difference? Uh, after you're done, leave by the- wait, what? The doses and... Oh, 15 doses in all. I'll try to find all of them regardless. And, of course, the loot amount. We'll do medium, since I suck at video games. But we also get to buy some stuff. Of course, at least one rope arrow. At least. Uh, buy a gas arrow, just in case. And some water arrows. For good luck. Maybe I'll remember to use them this time. Or maybe I'll save them up for the next mission. Wait, it doesn't work like that, does it? Crap. All right, in we go. All right.
right. Time to tail somebody. Nobody's here. Shut up. I don't want her. There she is. Hope they won't. Nick. Whoa, dude. What a dick. I'd like to keep my hands on those. Don't worry, I'm not going to try to get my hands on anything. I don't have any interest in it, regardless of how attractive you are. Definitely need to save. It's a tailing mission in the dark, mod. Poppycock. I literally just get seen. Hi. Do you mind fucking off? I'm, I'm busy tracking the lady. Well! That didn't take long now, did it? There we go. Oh. I wonder if she's not used to being in this part of town. Jesus Christ. Did you, you okay there, sir? Yep. I wonder if there's some places to break into here. Oh. Glad I stopped to save. That could have been bad. Nolding. Damn. <sighs> He's spinning around in circles. There's not really much I could do. Barely fit underneath the tree. Shoot. Crap. Oh, much better. Of course, there's got to be something with somebody with a goddamn torch in their hands. What is your business here? Oh, hello. I'm here Hi. to see Mr. Lovell, please. Get in. First door on your right. Go to the third floor. Sit down and wait. Third floor, huh? The shipwright is a busy man. It's up there. I'll call you when he is ready to see you. Indeed. Indeed. It's a third floor, you say. Whoa! Just... All right. Well, let's see if we can get around. There's a couple places where we can actually latch on to. Ah, of course. Ooh, wait. What's this? Maybe I can go from the bottom and not even need the rope arrows that I spent a lot of money on. Oh, dear God, no. Well, rope, rope arrows are going to be handy to get me out of this tight space here. Take that back. Am I inside? I don't know. How? Wait, what? Damn it. Somehow she saw me through the I damn wall! I don't Ireland. agree with this. this Somebody up there by the boats. You working on the boats right now, or what are you doing? What was that? Don't see nothing. Lights. Hmm. Nothing anymore. Oh, cool looking bandsaw right there. Did I see something? Nope, you did not. You did not. Well, third floor it is. There she is. Gone. They must be hiding again. Damn it. Ah! I'll give you a good, strong bop in the head is what I'm going to do. Out of my way. You hear me, young lady? Alright. I don't have to wait for him anymore. Nothing done moved. 
Don't you worry about it, young man. Hmm. What? Hi. There's one dose, man. There's all if it isn't Lady Ludmilla, come in, let's talk. Go on in. I'll get out of your way. Well, there's my first dose. Go on. I'm not stopping you. Well, he's not giving her the dose off his pants now, is he? No, that works. Thank you. Are you serious? Sir, what brings you to my office, my lady? Let's I cut to the chase, shall we, Lovell? I'm a very busy woman. You know very well why I'm here. I'm She's a druggy. Yes, of course. I have the best stock in the city. I have plenty even when the seas are frozen. But there is a minor complication. Plenty, he says. See. The price has been quadrupled since your last visit. What? <laughs> this is level. Uh, supply and demand, demand and supply, my lady. No supply, high Take demand. It it. Give me money. Are you kidding? The price is outrageous. I don't have that kind of gold. It's almost like I'm sure. buying a graphics card here. I'm sure we could arrange some oh, yeah. other kind of payment. That's yes, my lady. Gross. It's the second time Get she's accosted. It will just take a while to arrange everything. Very well. Please come back at your earliest opportunity. I'm afraid you cannot get Mondrasola from anywhere else but oh, me. Oh, <laughs> you will. Goodbye. But it'll be expensive on our point as well. Quite what a right. shit. What a oh, shit. Yes. Oh, yes. <laughs> Another one out. Why are you using open flames in here? What's that sound? Oh, just me. Don't worry about it, body. Wait, that wasn't your name. Yeah, it's just a little bit of coinage. And that's a window. I was assuming it was a... Uh, a, a safe for some odd reason. Ooh, fante. Ooh, a health potion. Just what I'm looking for. Daddy-like, I guess. Ma'am? Are you serious? You've been doing this to other women? Sorry, but this is for your own good. And my own good, but still. Letter. Yasmin. Bored sleeping in the cellar with those morons, running low on Mandrasil? Come to my office tomorrow night. Wear that purple bodice. Best wishes. Gel. Gross, dude. Fucking gross. I hope it was worth it. An unfinished letter. Who is this to? Dear Baker Williamson, We've been monitoring your business and would like to congratulate you for your recent successes. However, we are dreadfully worried about the safety of your bakery. Having open fires can be very hazardous and may lead to an unfortunate accident. Also, we've observed that the stairs leading to your establishment are quite steep. The kind of stairs which may cause all sorts of bruises and broken kneecaps if you would happen to trip on those. We would like to offer you a new kind of safety guarantee. With a meager sum of 25% of your business income, we can assure you the unfortunate accidents happen to you. But no unfortunate accidents happen to you. Please deliver the payment to... Protection Racket, huh? That's kind of fucked up now, don't you think? One of the easiest things to bring you down is when you overprotect where you live. Builder scroll. September 6th, in the year of the Lord of the Builder, the church boat thou sold us was leaking. Such a feeble vessel is surely not worthy of carrying the master builder's servants. The high priest got his feet wet and his robes smeared by the wretched muddy waters. Our orders demands full reimbursement, or thou wilt regret it. Master Builder, Church of Bridgeport. 
the, who actually wrote it though that's that that's the problem like, who wrote okay and he's into all manner of things where did you get that broken head man i wonder where you got that i mean i mean cool Level's diary. Ooh, what kind of spicy things does he write in here? Why do I am surrounded by incompetent idiots? Probably because you form your the structure of your sentences like that. I have an excuse. Both I'm an idiot and I deal with constant pain. What's yours? <laughs> Being a criminal mastermind has its benefits at times. Yes, but sometimes I wonder why I'm doing this. Carl came to me yesterday and told me that the cave leading to the other side of the harbor and the sewers has been collapsed, and that some monster entered the hideout from those caves. Those idiots couldn't even defeat a few zombies, and now they're hiding in my basement. Even a hired thug cannot swing a sword nowadays. Pathetic. Luckily, I have the habit of preparing myself for the incompetence of my underlings and happened to conceal the basement entrance already the last time when there was the spider infestation in the caves. Now, those morons are hiding in my basement and I've forbidden them of doing their jobs as they cannot enter the city sewers through the caves. It would be too risky to launch smuggling, thieving, mugging, mandrasel selling, fee collecting, and guarding services from my back door. Nope. City Watch would be all over me within days. I sent Julian to discreetly buy some holy water and fire arrows so those cowards can finally venture down to the caves and get rid of those pathetic creatures scaring them this time. I truly hope those morons can keep a low profile for the next few days. But I suppose it will only be a matter of time before they start to get drunk fighting and breaking up the place. As soon as I get those morons back to the caves, the better. Carl also had a mandrasil stash there, which he of course did not take with him when they fled from the caverns. Luckily, I have my own personal hideout up here with some good stuff left. How can it be so difficult to get properly trained and well-disciplined muscle these days? Maybe it's because you're a piece of shit and you don't know how to do it properly. I don't think business schooling is within your resume. Ma'am, when you wake up, you will probably go want to leave. What is this on top of it? Oh, it's a board game. Well, that was fun. So, in the basement, there should be a big stash of Mandrasil. Hmm? Huh? What? What's that? Ooh. Do you mind? I want to knock you out and throw you in here. Just in case you got anything out on that balcony there. There you go. Actually, I didn't look through this window really well. Ow, my head. Ow, my head. Ow. Ow, my incompetence. There we go. Well, I can get down from here, but I want to look around. We can go back through the sewers. I don't think I looked, uh, looked around through there very well. <laughs> How you doing down there? Keeping a good lookout. Hmm. Could jump from window to window, but that seems like a really bad idea. Is there even anything out here? Charge! Charge! Take that! Ow! I'm just trying to look around. Ow! Take this! There's some stuff over here. Maybe, maybe it's that. worth it. Yeah. Ow! He didn't miss. The thing is, I don't know if he comes all the way over here at any time. Noisemaker? Of course I don't. One time that I want to use when I don't chew it. Where else I got? You know what? I use one. And now it's back's turn. I didn't get rid of much of the light.
There he is. Are you it's literally like gonna come all the way down this way? Just keep going now. What? Of God. all the. What is it? The flame going now. She makes it. Much better. Come with me. We're just gonna put you right there. Have fun. Hopefully the lady down there is not anywhere that can see me and um, gink me in the the, the uh, gizzard. Yay! We got some flash bombs. I'm well known for using those any chance I get. I I literally put those on a dedicated key that was easy to get to and still have not trained my stupid brain to use them. Oh, boy. I think that was her. Oh. She's gonna come around this corner. She's gonna come around this corner. Gotcha. Sorry, lady. You guys can spend the cold night together warming each other up. By unconsciously being on top of each other. Ooh, Mandrasola. Well, I'm glad I knocked you out. Can I have your Mandrasola? Would you, would you stop? Do you have a Mandrasola? You did not. Oh, you dummy. So that's three Mandrasola. Ah, ah. Ah, uh, that, 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 that's the number today, kids. Three Mandrasola. Over here, the, where did she go over here? How, wait, what? There's a scratch on the ground. I smell subterfuge. I think it would just be this handle here. But no. I don't like this. I'm just assuming it's just this door that swings out. Well, it's not a door, but you know what I mean. Maybe I could wake her. Ah, there it is. That's how. Now that's how we get down to the basement. I need to be careful. There are zombies down here. You guys, drunk, breaking up the place yet? I heard that's what you were going to do. Time to talk. I'm working. Right. Yep. Nice. Elden? Why does it have to be anything? Question. Is somebody like that? Nice. There's a hole on the Did you just call you wait? Was he just gonna say there's a whore on the ground? That, that, that's your teammate, buddy. What the fuck's wrong with you? That's just rude. Any mandrasol on you? Nope. I'm sorry, lady. He, you know what? I'm gonna put you over here in this corner. Well, just away from them in general. Weapons. Put found weapons here. If you take without me or Lovell's permission, you'd be gutted, Carl. Okay, Carl. I'm I'm sorry. I'll I'll put all of their weapons there, although they are kind of stuck to their body. Well, I got a noisemaker now. Tonight's chow fish soup. If I hears anyone you complain about me foods, me gonna cut your ears and tongue and use them for better suppers tomorrow's. Just that, you know? Just that, you know? Sure. Essie. Who's Essie? 
Sounds like Swell Dude. Red? Oh, I can't have red. I can't carb load! I want a carb load. Haunted. Haunted! They already got Vinny when they appear from nowhere. No one enter or cave hide out in here until we got to the holy water arrows or more fire arrows. Once we get stuff, we clear the hideout of the monsters. Carl. Carl, you're hurting my throat. <coughs> I don't know why, but you're hurting my throat. Damn you. Oh. We gotta put the. Sorry. One second, guys. I need to put this away. Got it. Probably should have put it blade down. Just a minute. Just a minute. Nope, don't care. It's Easter. The kitchen is meat turf. I hit the microphone. I apologize. If I catch someone on you taffing around here again, I'm gonna make tiny holes in my in your lungs with my dagger. Taffers, Elsie. So it sounds like your voice changed there, Elsie. So did your writing style. Y yoink! I said yoink. Fish? Eh, only fish. Cheese. No clogging up the pipes for me today, it seems. Turnip. No. Uh, ooh, bread! Carb load. <laughs> now I can get swole, as the kids say. This is a shitty ass living set area. Madrasola. Just had to had had to sleep right by the ale, huh? Or the wine or the whatever. So much easier if one of them had the fucking key. But apparently, no. Man, they, they locked it up real good. Double, triple locked up in here. Oh, sorry, that was me. Oh, fuck me sideways. Why are you... There we go. Sometimes when I try to lean right, it leans forward. Very odd. Are you... No. Bad game. Very bad. I... Mm, I need to save after I unlocked it. Man. I did pick the thing up under the basket, right? Yes, I did. Sorry, just needed to make check. Make sure, check. Whatever, you heard me. Let me into the caves! I want my Mandrasola! I'm not addicted, I swear! There we go. Now we'll save. There we go. Definitely leave- Ooh! Leaving that one there. Ooh! Fuck. This is less than ideal. Nothing to see here, rotted one. Leave. Nectar goddess, I have given the oath of silence. Bye. Who's the nectar goddess? Oh, the rope arrow. Well, that's good. It seems to be a woodsy curse, methinks. The caves never looked as good, but well, minus the. Minus the rotted flesh sacks that, that abide in it. Grip. Wouldn't happen to have some Madrasol on you. But nice talking to you. The gold, golden nose. I like me the golden nose. Eek. 
There's nothing back here. Don't worry about it. Here's the other one. Now I'm tailing a damn zombie. Which ha? Fine. I have to wait for you, then I'll just. Mm. This me. Anyways, hopefully you enjoyed my nonsense. Say if you did, a like, comment, subscribing, and hitting that bell icon would be greatly appreciated. This has been Boy Lag. Quiet, you. Signing off. Break, break, break. Oh, you can. Oh, go. Close the damn door, please. Oh god, it scared the crap out of me. Wasn't expecting that. Come in! I mean, don't come in.